Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be getting into some max level Dr. Kavan gameplay. And uh, I think we're gonna be using it with the Zookas and stuff, but first, but first, but first, guys, we're gonna start the video off with a big shout out to John from the Chicken Coop and this fidget spinner here. And uh, yeah, so we got Johnny going in here on Axiom. It was a really nice hit, so I uh, wanted to give a little bit of love to the Chicken Coop. They haven't really been making it into the videos lately, but. Um, We've had like a lot of success on the on these uh, last few operations here. We actually took down uh, Kurt Call as a ten man task force, which was pretty amazing. Um, so we're very close to breaking through the top fifty on the leaderboard. Um, and yeah, with uh, carrying chicken along the way with all the chicken fails, guys. So today we're going to be trying to um, farm up some rock crystals and get uh, the Ember Fury tribe or the uh, Lifewell tribe up to another level. So we still need a lot of them. We only have 250 right now, but since everything doesn't cost that much, we should be okay here. And you see we're also at, um, we're only 18 GB, uh, 18 GB, 18, uh, 18 victory points away from getting the um, uh, exclusive, exclusive? I don't know if that's the right word. The uh, elusive, maybe that's the right word, guys. Uh, 1,000 victory points, which we've never actually been able to get to. And, of course, we started out with Brick there instead of uh, Caveman. So, let's get... You see right there, we got that little infographic. He is at the max level, guys. So, you see the health there. 2,150 plus the statue plus the tri boost. This is unboosted still. Um, he's going to have close to 3,000 health. Healing per second is 70, which is going to be absolutely fantastic for using Zookas. Because he's going to automatically heal them. And it's basically just going to make uh, Chicken's Mind Running Zookas into, like, a strategy instead. So... You see right here, we'll actually let the Zookas walk right into both of these mines, and it's not even going to matter because Caveman is going to be able to heal them up uh, almost instantly with his, uh, with the fact that he's now max level and his, uh, his like, his galvani galvanizing presence thing is actually worth using. Now, obviously, these are very, very low level mines, guys, but you see when Caveman actually gets up there, he heals them up pretty quick, so, I don't know, we'll launch out some critters, we'll get the ice shield going, we'll throw a health pack down on top of them, I guess, and we are just going to absolutely melt this core if they, um, it didn't flare onto it, but we got to it eventually, guys. So, stage two, fairly simple so far, but, uh, but yeah, I have noticed a pretty good difference, um, with Caveman, once I got him to around level, um, hmm, I want to say, like, around 14, I started to notice his, uh, his healing was actually making a pretty big difference in my attacks, um, not only just the, like, the, not only just the overall healing he would do, but, like, the, the speed of it, I found that to be a pretty big bonus. Uh, okay, we're not gonna be able to take that down, so we're gonna have to launch out the Zookas here. And, yeah, so, I think it's definitely worth it, obviously, to, uh, to get Caveman upgraded as quickly as possible, but now, uh, I have no use where, uh, I apologize for the Zookas that are going to, uh, courageously lose their lives here so we can take down this HQ a little bit faster, but, um... What were we saying there? Yeah, I don't I don't have anything left to upgrade aside from the tribes, which is, I don't know, I think it's pretty cool because it's like we're always going to have something to do with resources. Like, I actually took, um, I took stone today from the daily reward, which was pretty crazy. I don't think I've ever done that because uh, 300,000 stone versus 7 shards is not really like even, you wouldn't even think about it normally, right? But um, this morning, I think I only needed, um, like a few, uh, like a little bit more stone to actually get another upgrade going, so, um, that was the reason there, and I, I felt like that was worth it, because I have, like, 150 power powder, and I'm not really saving up for a big VP push or anything like that, so I have more than enough power and stones right now to get me by for the foreseeable future, so, um, it was actually more worth it, in my opinion, to get, um, to get the, um, to get the, that little bit of extra stone, you see right there, we, we purely just used the ice shield, and we only lost one Zooka, so, um, yeah, max level ice shield, max level Dr. Caveman, this fidget spinner, guys, is, uh, it's definitely, it's definitely something, so, alright, so let's dive into stage 5 here, and see what we can get done, so I'm really excited to use the Zookas in an operation attack, um, unfortunately we don't have one loaded up just yet, but, um, it's gonna be crazy to see all this extra damage and stuff. You see, I actually started out with, I think it's 128 GBE, and I used to start out with 110, which is still a lot, but now it's just crazy. Like, I think when I had, um, 4 GB statues, I wanna say, and they were fully boosted, I had 128 GB or something like that, so it's a pretty monstrous amount of, uh, of free boost that we got here. Alright, so let's walk the Zookas up here like this, guys, and 
Hopefully we can hit a mine or something so we can actually get some benefit out of this uh, maxed out Dr. Caveman. But I mean, if nothing else, he works as like a pretty good meat shield with 3,000 hit points on him. Uh, not as good as Brick, obviously, but uh, maybe we'll bring Brick out for the last couple stages because I do want to... Uh, I do want to get into some, um, like, just to see what we can get done uh, damage-wise, because we do have that extra, I think it's, what is it, 20% or 18% I have uh, on the, on all the troops damage right now. So, so there's Dr. Caveman, maxed out, guys. Pretty excited to get that done. Now let's switch over to Brick and see what we can get done with the extra, it's only 10%. I could boost it up a little bit more. Um... Let's boost it up a little bit more, guys. I mean, it only cost 150, so we get an extra 15% there, and do we have enough? Okay, we can convert some wood, and we can boost it up again, so we got that 4 to 5. So now we got it to 20%, and we only need, what do we need to boost it? We only need uh, 250, so um, if we do like one map clear or something, we should be able to get the Fire Spike Tribe fully boosted and maxed out. So... Um, but we already have the level maxed out, but, um, but yeah, let's see what we can get done with this extra Zooka, uh, damage boost. This should be pretty crazy, guys, because it is only Tropical Dr. Terrence. But I'm thinking we should be able to almost one-shot HQs, and I want to do this unboosted, uh, for right now. Maybe, uh, if, if you guys want it, we could do some, like, fully, like, ridiculous attacks and see if we could, like, one-shot bases with Warriors or something, because the damage that we're gonna have with a maxed, uh, with a max statue boost and a max tribe boost is going to be just ridiculous, but I kind of want to save it until we can get both of them going at once. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go clear out some mines here, guys, and let's take... Um, how do we want to take this on? Let's go on this right side, I think, right where... Uh, we'll take out this mortar here, just so we have a bit of a better landing uh, zone for the HQ. And we'll launch the Zugas out like this. I might lose a couple there to that flamethrower, but should be okay. Um, we'll get them marching up right into there. And then let's keep them, let's try to keep them right out on this edge here. And I think they're going to walk like reasonably straight if we can keep them on that line. And okay, so we'll get a smoke going like this. And then we're going to double smoke across. And here we go, guys. Here we go. Hum okay, the one smoke didn't register. So that kind of screwed that up. So we're going to use another smoke here because half of them are going to be in the smoke that expires. And the other half are not going to be. But we still have tons of GB, so it should be okay. Um, so yeah, so we're going to shock the shock launchers. And let's just see how much damage we can get away with here, guys. This should be pretty crazy. So... Uh, we'll get some medkits down like that, and one, and two. Alright, so, a pretty clean two-shot, and I did lose, uh, like, a lot of my troops, so, uh, so there goes stage six. Now, here's the test, guys, here's the test. See how many shots, hopefully we can get a clean run at it, uh, we can take stage seven down, technically unboosted, even though we are, like, somewhat, uh, tribally boosted, I guess they would say, so... Stage 7, guys. Stage 7. Let's see what um, Dr. Terrence has in store for the chicken today. So we'll take out this barrage here. And we'll take out the mines with the barrage, I should say. And I'm not 100% sure if we need to take out uh, any more mines. It's going to be tough to get them to walk into the building. So I think the I think that's going to be the play. We'll go something like this. I'm going to space out that that left smoke a little more because they're going to kind of come over they're going to want to come over over the top a little bit um but if we can get them basically right over here first and then march them up i think we should be able to keep them away from that mine that they're really going to want to go uh walk directly into so easy 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 okay so we lost a couple girls there okay we lost all the girls there we lost all the girls there so um i guess we can see instead of going for the one shot we can see we can still finish it with only like a quarter of our troops left so let's throw some critters out like this guys and then let's just use med kits for the win here and one two three four come on take it down take it down five boom boom stage seven goes down so that was pretty crazy considering we had like five zookas per boat left like five times eight forty zookas instead of uh what do you normally have? 100 and, 104? Or 128? 104, I think. Um, yeah, we like we, we ripped through that pretty good, considering. Um, yeah, 104. Okay, so so that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Um, actually, let's do, one, let's do one quick player base here. Uh, I don't really have any, um, any good ones left for Zookas, but with all the tribal boosts and stuff, maybe we should be able to... Um, we should be able to get away with something here. So, this guy's got quite a bit of health on his HQ, but maybe we'll try a, uh, a maxed, a maxed out Doctor Caveman and a Warrior attack, guys, to see if we can uh, see if we can take this down. So, 
the plan is going to be, whenever you see bases like this, uh, which was the base here? Was it Penguin? Uh, Penguin, Penguin Jing. Um, now this is a very difficult base because he, his, his mind placement is like the best I've ever seen. Um, so I'm going to want to take out this and we're probably going to have to use another, another barrage right up over here. But basically the idea is going to be to, um, get up on the shield gen, throw a bucket of critters away and hopefully take out the shield gen and then move on right onto the HQ. So we'll see if we can do that guys. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting for sure, and I'm going to try to save as much GB as I can uh, getting there. Okay, easy, easy, easy. We're going to pre-medkit that because uh, we lost a lot of health. Um, caveman should be able to get sucked up uh, somewhat nicely in there. And we're going to go like this. We're going to launch the critters out like that, guys. And then everything should target the critters. And we actually needed uh, two... Okay, that was that was rough. We needed two swings to get that shield gen down, which uh, the chicken was not expecting, guys. But uh, since we don't have Doctor Kamen or the ice shield, this is going to be like a pretty difficult task we got uh, left with here. And I don't think we have enough warriors to finish it out, guys. But that's going to wrap it up for the video today. Uh, make sure to let me know down in the comments what your favorite strategy is with all these new tribal boosts going on right now, guys. Are you using Zookas a lot? Are you using Warriors a lot? Obviously, everything has uh, has a pretty significant buff to it, so I mean, you can't really go, go wrong with anything. So make sure to let me know that down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. <laughs>